Dear all, welcome to the playlist of High Voltage Engineering. In this session, I will be discussing most important questions from Module 5. The topic is High Voltage Testing and Non-Destructive Insulation Testing. As you can able to see, this is a syllabus content. So I have covered both NDT and uh, High Voltage Testing of various electrical appliances in the previous session. The detailed video is available in the playlist of High Voltage Engineering. I request you to watch those video first. Later we will have a discussion on those question, important questions which had repeated in the previous year question and which can be expected in the upcoming examination. However, those who are preparing for the examination, especially university examination and internal assessment, this will be really helpful. Let's understand what are the important questions which you can able to ex ex expect in the coming examination. I have seen the question paper of high voltage engineering during December 2018 and uh, I found out some important questions and let me recall those questions. The first one is, with a neat circuit diagram explain the balanced detection method by using sharing splits. Mention the diagram, then you can give the brief explanation. It carries the weightage of 8 marks. The second one is, explain the operation of sharing splits for 3 terminal measurement with uh, Wagner's earth device. You have to explain about sharing switch, how do you measure the dielectric loss and loss angle by using sharing switch. You can see the problem related to sharing switch. This is a simple numerical example on sharing switch. I, I, I would like to give one hint. First of all, you have to draw the bridge of the bridge diagram. Later, you have to mention the parameter which they have provided. Later, you have to calculate the value of R and C. Afterwards, you can apply the equation. Tan delta is equal to omega into uh, R into C. Omega means 2 pi f. Omega is the angular frequency. You can able to compute the angular frequency in terms of supply frequency, 2 pi f. Later, you can able to calculate the power loss. So, another important question. Explain the methods to determine the large capacitance using Shen derangement. Uh, this video I haven't updated. So, let me get to upload. Okay. So, let me uh, up upload and revert. Okay. So, time being, you can refer any of the textbook. You can able to identify the answer. It's a simple topic. But I haven't updated it to uh, update it in the, my YouTube channel. Question paper 2018 is a model question paper. Here also you can see the sharing splits, one of the important questions. Uh, then discharge detection by using straight detector. It is also having weightage of 8 marks. Diagram, you can give, you can expect 4 marks. Explanation, 4 marks. 4 plus 4 equal to 8 marks. In the uh, next part is different type of test conducted for circuit breaker. You have to enlist what are the different type of testing which are applicable for the uh, circuit breaker. Especially you have to mention about short circuit test. Then write a short note about the testing of cable. You can mention about uh, uh, HV testing. Then you can do, you can mention about scanning methods. Okay. And the partial discharge test. Likewise, you have to mention different type of testing with a brief explanation. So technical content should be specified very clearly. Do underline for uh, technical terms. And this question is related to sharing splits. Draw the sharing splits first. Okay. Later what you can do? Balance the bridge and you can able to calculate the unknown capacitance. Unknown capacitance you can able to calculate. Unknown resistance also it's possible to calculate. It is having the weightage of 6 marks. For the convenience what I did is I enlisted different type of, I gathered all the type of questions and uh, I arranged according to the unit, according to the year and a particular marks. You can see the testing of circuit breaker, the weightage is 6 marks. These are the different years, uh, the question paper had been repeated in several years. And uh, here you can see the information about testing of transformer and the weightage I have mentioned as 8 marks. Uh, then you can able to see, write a short note on HV testing on transformer, then HV testing of cables and uh, circuit breaker and a potential divider. Okay, so then uh, June, July 2011 and uh, you can see another important question, different tests conducted on bushings. Okay, that's also very important. You, you know what is bushings and I have explained different testing on bushings. So that's also uh, very important. Uh, then, uh, then define the following terminologies. I made a separate uh, session on uh, different terminologies related to testing such as disruptive discharge voltage, 100% day flash over voltage, 50% day flash over voltage, creep distance, impulse voltage, etc. So do refer that video, get the information. 2 into 3 that is equal to 6 marks. The, you have to answer to the question. Then write the brief note on testing of cable. At least you have to mention 4 to 5 testing. 
uh, then uh, testing on insulator 7 plus 7 okay 7 marks for testing on cable and uh, another 7 marks for insulators testing on insulators then uh, you have to explain about different type of power frequencies and impulse test on insulators these are the different testing of general type of insulators explain separately and you will be getting 10 marks Here, I already explained that uh, sharing bridge is very important. Here you can see the questions related to sharing bridge. So here also another question related to sharing bridge. Then partial discharge. What is partial discharge? How do they measure partial discharge? Uh, especially you have to explain about the balance detection method. This question is related to the numerical example on sharing bridge which I already worked out. Kindly go through that video and get the answer. Then I have explained about uh, the cable testing in that they asked about uh, how to conduct the test how to detect the fault on the cable so you can go ahead with the discharge detection technique partial discharge detection technique then another thing is explain the operation of sharing switch for three terminal measured several times it are repeated so be uh, point out those particular question because again in the upcoming examination you can expect similar kind of question then explain the discharge detection using straight detectors very important then sharing switch numerical example then dry and wet flashover test separate we got to explain only this particular test okay uh, then uh, this question that is related to the calculation of total heat generated from the specimen in terms of dielectric loss so this is belong to the dielectric breakdown in solid dielectric material which i already explained in the first module not only that in the fifth module also this question has a relevant role so uh, it is one of the added advantage it, it can act uh, it can ask for it first module or fifth module then explain the transformer ratio umbrage very important so why transformer ratio umbrage is required you have to explain with the help of a simple circuit then sharing bridge of numerical example that can be expected and also you have to explain about testing of bushings okay here sharing bridge is 100 percent repeatable question every time it is asking so don't leave the topic sharing bridge then here also partial discharge is also has crucial role every time this kind of questions are uh, asking that is a summary we can able to understand after looking the question bank this question is related to uh, sharing switch one of the numerical example to compute the dielectric loss then another question is related to uh, testing of cables how to use partial discharge technique explain the operation of sharing switch 100 percent it is repeating please be careful about this particular question and the straight detectors question related to straight detectors uh, then this is actually belong to module one module one also you can expect the same kind of question it is also repeated discuss the dry and wet flashover test of insulators that's also very important uh, then i found that thrice it has repeated this kind of question it has repeated thrice very important related to uh, solid dielectric material and the calculation of dielectric loss now i would like to uh, mention one more questions like uh, repeated question like transformer ratio umbrage and uh, this is actually again repeated sharing bridge and uh, uh, this question also one, one of the very important thing related to sharing bridge so don't leave the sharing bridge and i'm sure that in the forthcoming examination also you can expect this kind of questions what are the factors affecting discharge detection that's also quite important question so in this video i have discussed the most important questions in the area of testing ndt as well as conventional testing if you are having any query you can put up in the comment box Finally, I would like to conclude, don't leave the question sharing switch. You have to study theory part and uh, numerical example also. At least you will be getting definite amount of credit. And also, don't leave the testing especially like a cable, circuit breaker, then bushings, the general insulation testing, etc. That's also uh, most important. Uh, then another important thing about the transformer ratio umbrage. You do mention about the diagram of transformer ratio umbrage why transformer ratio umbrage are required like this you can give the short note more important for technical uh, terms then circuit diagram and uh, underline all important technical terms whenever you are appearing for a university examination capture the attention of evaluator those who are doing the evaluation definitely they will click clear cut about the circuit diagram equations some ex derivations some notations especially some technical terms they are mainly focusing on those terminologies those things will be added in the valuation key so please follow uh, those information okay these are the tips i would like to infer i would like to tell you finally all the very best for examination thank you for watching this video